Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kay and today I'm going to do an Ask Kay Q&A segment where I just go down the list and answer some questions that you guys um, send me and also read some comments. And I like doing this. I stopped doing the Ask Kay Q&A every week because I really felt like it take away from me making my quality videos. So I didn't want to spend time trying to edit those videos when I could be working on a good overall video okay and I really feel like it's better if I do this probably like once a month but I want to keep doing this segment only because I want to show people my appreciation for them commenting and just give shout outs to people that watch my channel and comment because you honestly don't have to so thank you um, so the first comment I'm gonna be just reading off my YouTube comment section um, so the first comment is from Nikki Ezel and she said just had an interview today and your video helped so much thank you so this was from the best interview tips video and honestly I get a lot of comments from this video and people like tell me that it helped them and it just makes me so happy because I didn't think that video was going to be as big as it was and I didn't think I would get all these comments. It seems like it really helped a lot of people. So, you know, thank you guys for actually sharing, you know, coming back and commenting and saying that it actually helped you. I really appreciate that. And, you know, congratulations to everyone who got an interview from watching that video. All right, so next, someone said, Hi, Kay, you look very lovely on your hairstyle and you seem to be a very kind person. Even just on the way you talk, Good luck in your career path and that was from KC all right um, thank you for that that was really kind of you um, that was on how much money do PCTs make video thank you um, mother walnut commented and said hey there thanks for the video I'm taking my course and I'm afraid of being unable to find a job as my CNA is no longer active I do have tons of experience but took some time off to raise my kids. Do you think it'll be difficult for me to get hired as a teletech? Now this was from my um, video, my day as a monitor tech and honestly, you know a lot of people are scared that they won't get hired with this position and my biggest advice is to apply anyways, you know, because with this position I don't think a lot of people know how to do monitor tech so if a hospital is desperate enough and they need a monitor tech trust me they will call you I've seen people that are new to um, this position get the job simply because the hospital is just like desperate and they need someone um, as long as you can pass this little test that they have you do you're good to go so honestly I would say just apply everywhere and just see where you can get in and sometimes they do have um, jobs at um, different like nursing homes or places outside the hospital you can start there too maybe go on Google and just look up monitor tech positions and just see what pops up and I would just say apply everywhere whether regardless of whether it's the hospital setting or not because someone will probably call you because like I said it's not like a patient care tech position where you can find a lot of applicants okay I'm so out of breath <laughs> I don't know why um, let's see someone else said um, and this is a loaded question so I'm just gonna answer each question as I go all right, so Emma the Hurdler said, I have almost no medical working experience, but I'm really interested in a career change toward medicine since there are so many job opportunities. What exactly is your current position and what um, was your path towards that? Okay, I'm going to answer that one first. Okay, so my current position is a float patient care tech, so basically... I work on different floors on a daily basis depending on where they need me the most. So if 
they're short a tech in the ER they're gonna send me to the ER they're short a tech in the monitor room that's where I'm gonna go they're short a tech on the floor you know um, taking care of the patients I'm gonna go there if they're short a tech um, a staffing coordinator I'll be doing that so basically I'm just like floating throughout the hospital and just helping wherever I can for that day um, and my career path is um, to become a a physician assistant and I'm doing this job to gain patient care experience um, for that job <laughs> okay so what are you aiming for and what tips would you have for someone trying to get started in the medical field I would say start with positions like um, CNA, EMT, maybe a scribe, uh, phlebotomy. All these positions, um, maybe not phlebotomy because I think that takes a couple of months um, longer than EMT. But, you know, uh, scribe, CNA, EMT, these are all good certifications to get because um you know it's like one semester trainings and you can just get right maybe not get right into the hospital but get right into the medical field maybe working in a nursing home in the beginning um or you can watch my video on five unlicensed positions that you can apply for in order to get your foot in the hospital door um so um you know you start small you know you if you don't have a certification do jobs that don't require a certification and just work your way up you know because in the beginning you really don't get to be really picky so sometimes you just got to get in where you can get in and then move up from there because usually when you start from the bottom and you start small you learn a lot by just being around other people you may say okay you know I'm gonna start as a uh, transporter and as a transporter you're gonna see different positions maybe you um, see like a, a um, respiratory therapist and you get interested in that and then you can uh, work on doing that job so just start wherever you can and I was gonna read a couple more <laughs> couple more comments but my camera is about to die so I'm gonna answer more of your questions on my next Ask K Q and a but hopefully that cleared up some of your questions and I also um, want to just uh, thank those people that watch my videos comment and you know subscribe to my channel I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys on the next video don't forget to subscribe because I will be making more really good videos that you guys are going to love okay I'll see you guys next time bye